deeper into into the NFL. And we'll, bum, talk, bum, bum, bum. And we'll talk Kevin's power, Super Bowl power. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, I'm not getting kicked off because <coughs> I'm mouthing that, am I? Uh, maybe. Ah, I, I, damn. Who knows? Ah, you never know. Anyways, NFL f- friggin' football. We had two games this week or Monday. Yeah. We did. We had two games Monday. Was either, either, either one of them worth it? <sighs> the Buffalo... And Kansas City game would have been a lot better if it was not raining and disgusting outside. It was 20, if I'm not mistaken, final score was 26 to 17. So closer than I expected it could have been in the rain. But I felt like Buffalo definitely would have had a better opportunity if it's not raining. Um, I think they would have been able to utilize Josh Allen's arm more. Because of just how far he can really throw the ball, take the top over, uh, take the top off on the defense for Kansas City, they weren't able to do that. The problem is this year, it's not the offense for Buffalo; it's that defense. The game prior, they yeah, what allowed, happened to them? I don't know. They've been the awful. Ga- the game prior, they allow forty plus to the Tennessee Titans, which they did. Tennessee put up forty again this week, but and then Kansas City, we know how prolific their offense is last year and this year. But even still, that defense, they could not find Travis Kelsey to save their life. He He's on my fantasy team. I was happy he went off, but he had like two touchdowns, two or three touchdowns. Had a ton of yards. They could not stop um, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. They could not stop him from running the football. I think, If I'm not mistaken, he had almost 150-plus yards on that mm-hmm. game. Um, I don't understand it. I really don't. They were the number two ranked defense last year. Now they're almost in the 30s. They're almost 30 through 32. Maybe after this weekend they were. So I don't know. So offensively, that's not the question for the Bills. It's what's wrong with their defense. And then Kansas City flexed again, showed everybody, yeah, we, we kind of have some weapons everywhere. Oh, not to mention this coming week, Le'Veon Bell joins us. So enjoy that when we get to full strength. Uh, is that is that cheating? No, no <laughs> I mean... I haven't seen Bell do anything in two years. I haven't. Either. I haven't. So, either. He sat out in technically three because he uh, sat out in 2018. And the kid that played the other night played outstanding. Yes. So I, I think it would be more one of the things where you know everybody's kind of going running back by committee just to take some of the wear and tear off of the running backs. Yeah. And I think that's what it is. Uh, I can't remember who was talking about it. They were on air talking about it, and it was because. Um, Edwards Elaire in college was only like the bell cow one season. So he's not really accustomed to being the guy that just mm-hmm. takes the brunt of the work. And if you have the opportunity to add Le'Veon Bell, who if, if he's even close to anything he was in like 17, is going to be fantastic. But uh, I think they said also it, it, they needed to fill that because Damian Williams, they were missing him, what he brought to the table last year. Um, but I know exactly what you're talking about. We haven't seen Le'Veon Bell actually be anything close to what he was in 2017, but it's hard for me to say, is that him or was it the Jets? Well, I, Because I the Jets are an absolute I, dumpster I don't fire. Know. I think he was in like 17. He's going to be fantastic. But uh, I think they said also... Oh, it, it, they, <laughs> trying to figure out my my buttons here. Um, yeah, Hunter, um, I just... I don't know, man. They they they're doing something different there. Um, All right, yeah, but I, I think I, it, I think it makes Kansas City just as dangerous. I I just want to see it with him. They don't even. I don't necessarily they need him, but we'll see. Uh, it's one of those I, things where it's you might not need him, but like it ain't going it ain't going to hurt to have him. That's yeah, true too. yeah. I mean, if you're him, is that? I just didn't know. I thought he would be be somewhere else specifically, but wait. um, the, he's only there for a year though. Yeah. So, if he wants to walk next year and go somewhere else, try and get some more money, why not? This could be one thing for him, too. We we see it with a lot of players. If they, they've they been let go by one of their teams and they're kind of just floating around at this point, he might be ring-chasing this year. He might be seeing that Kansas City has the real opportunity to be the one that makes it to the championship and then goes on to win it. Ah, why not? Sometimes it's it's just difficult for the a position like the running back to just get so lucky and always be in a in a in a Super Bowl opportunity because it's so dependent about how the team as a whole is around you. It could have it has nothing to do with your play. It's just about the team around you as a whole. 
and he talked his way out of Pittsburgh and ended up with the god awful New York Jets. So if it's him, maybe he's come around and said, you know what, I, I kind of need to try and get myself a ring. I don't blame him. Uh, other game from Monday was the Arizona Cardinals and the Dallas Cowboys. And my goodness, Dallas looks horrible. Dallas looks absolutely horrible. And I don't understand why, because they have so much talent around the ball. And I don't think Andy Dalton is that bad anyways. But Zeke fumbling twice obviously, obviously doesn't help. I don't know if it's going to be put all at the feet of McCarthy or if it needs to be put on that defensive coordinator. But my God, I Dallas sitting at two and four leading the division. There's a reason why they're two and four. And you saw it on display against the Cardinals. That defense is horrible. Hunter. Why am I wearing a brown shirt right now? Because you don't like Jerry Jones. So whose fault is it? They're two and four. Mike McCarthy. No. no. <laughs> it is not. Whose fault is it? They're two and four. Jerry? There you go. Is it or is it Dak breaking his ankle? Okay, let's talk about Dak breaking his ankle. Um, what was the record before he broke his ankle? One and three. And the game he broke his ankle and someone else came in, did they win? Yeah. Now, is that the only pretty much legitimate win of the two? Remember, Dak's, yes, Dak's, they, Dak's, <laughs> Dak's win was an onside kick That the Falcons fiasco. just went dumb on. So, again, let's, let's, put, let's put the name Romo on it. Let's say they're one and three with Romo, and he, his ankle just fell off, mm -hmm. and the only win was the Falcons not jumping on an onside kick. I don't know. Are people saying, "Yeah, we probably should get Romo back"? I don't no. know. <laughs> I'm just, I, I don't know. I get Andy Dalton looked to me though. He looked a little overwhelmed. Uh, you know what they did? Did you look at the box score? They sacked him a lot. Yeah, he threw fifty times. I don't now, know why. That, you can blame on the coaches. No, now. yes, exactly. That they you did, can blame on the coaches. They did the, the same two exact and four and the worst defense in the NFL. That's Jerry. They did but, the same exact thing when Dak was in. They were going to yeah. let him throw fifty plus times. I don't get it. I don't know what Zeke fumbles twice and you decide to take it out of his hands. They you don't, don't have Tony Pollard sitting there in your back pocket that you can just pull out if you don't really want to hand it off to Zeke because you don't trust him. Is Dallas and Carolina regretting spending this money on these running backs? They did give Zeke a lot of money. He got 16. McCaffrey's got 15. Well, they're, what I don't understand, though, is you gave him the $16 million and you and you just don't use him. So that essentially is wasted money. Yeah. I, I don't quite understand that. If you don't that. pay, Matt, you might as well, uh, well. We'll see about the Christian McCaffrey part when he comes back healthy because yeah. if, they can, if they go back to him, then it's like, okay, you're trying to get your money's worth. This is what you paid for. We're going to use him. If you're Dallas... They're not even trying to get their money's worth. They're like, all right, we paid him, but let's see if we can throw the ball 60 times. They paid him. In you pay a running back top it. dollar, but you want to throw all over the yard, and I don't quite understand it. It's just one of those things to me. I think Dallas has their priorities wrong. I think they really do. They didn't address what they should have addressed, which was defense. We Everybody could have said that from the beginning. They did draft, I like uh, Diggs. Trevon Diggs, their cornerback, they got him in the second round. I thought that was a steal, to be honest. But other than that, you look across the board of your Dallas, and just nothing is working out. And I don't, I don't want to put all of the blame on Mike McCarthy, but I think he deserves some of it. And definitely, in fact, with not many teams are just asking their quarterback, whether it is Dak, Andy Dalton, or hell, even if it was Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers, to throw 50 times. They're not. And when it comes down to that, you become predictable. And not only that, you really can't have the luxury to just drop back and throw it 50 times because your offensive line is diminished. Their offensive line is not the offensive glad, line of year a year ago or at least two years I'm ago. I'm glad you hit that part because if you remember Saturday, uh, I brought that up, that, that specific thing with Tyron Smith. Um, he's one of the best tackles in football, and he's out. Uh, Travis Frederick retired. Mm -hmm. He may have been the best center in football. Mm -hmm. He's out. You, did you see Zach Martin? Zach Martin got hurt. He got a concussion. And he's under concussion protocol. So, Could be out. So, again, your three studs are mm -hmm. not there. And one of them ain't coming back. Your the quarterback's Frederick. not there. You have no defense. And it's time, Hunter, to say, 
this isn't the year. Oh, I don't ever think it's the and year they for ne- Dallas. But. But, 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 but Jerry and them don't operate that way. They don't talk about that, uh, like, no. that, that way. And then... No, man. they don't because Jerry has the same mindset that every Cowboys fan has every year. Might make the, we're going to make the Super Bowl this year. If everything mm-hmm. just gets right, we're going to make the Super Bowl this year. Uh, uh, until you tell me they have a top 5, 10 defense, I will never, ever, ever, ever think that they're going to make that they haven't made an nfc check where's that let me, let me pull it. I, I had that one the since 1996 hunter eight teams have not made the nfc champion and in a championship game appearance mm-hmm. cowboys bills dolphins browns Bengals, redskins lions and texans now if you go back to 1990 of course the bills cowboys and redskins come off that and then the five would be Dolphins, Browns, Texans, Lions, and Bengals. But just to be even on that list at some That's point. That's not a good sign. It, it is not where you want to be. And 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 again, we I here's one thing. I, I let me give you the best example of why I don't believe they're gonna ever be good without that good defense is that you know, we talk about these teams like the Browns haven't replaced Bernie Kozar and the Bills didn't replace Jim Kelly until now. And some the Dolphins have still not replaced Dan Marino. And we look at those teams, but you know what the Cowboys have never replaced? Aikman. Darren Woodson. Oh, defense. They have never replaced Darren Woodson. We talk about these defensive ends all the time, and I try to tell people, I'm like, and, and folks will say, it's the same thing with the running backs. They'll say, well, the value of safety is not there. You know what? I, I think people are making, it's almost like this, Hunter. Nine, let's say 90% of the running backs in the NFL are, are probably much the same, right? You think but so. that top ten percent, they're a little different, right? Mm-hmm. They're a little bit something extra. Yeah, that's the same thing with the safeties. You can have twenty eight safeties in the NFL be the same, good, average, mm-hmm. above average. But there's four, or five, or six. They're like, damn, those dudes run that defense, Listen. and those defenses with the best safeties tend to do really, right now, really good. Sitting on the market is Earl Thomas. Now, I know he's had some baggage with him off. <laughs> Off the football field. You don't want him at two and four, though, do you? I don't know if now, you want him at two and four. I asked that question. But Listen, I, he was supposed I, to have a workout with the Texans, but the players themselves didn't said want didn't want him. Here's what's bad about the them being two and four. They're in first. Yeah. How about them first place Cowboys? God Almighty. <laughs> That's the worst Hunter, first place team Hunter's I've ever Washington seen. Fan, did you see the news about them today? Yeah, it was. You dumb. still might be the might same be team football next year. Team next year. <laughs> Well, because of the. Why does it take so long to come up with a name? I don't know. Do you have a name picked out in the first place? Well, I would Even much if rather you don't do have the the trademark. You could at least come out and, and say, say what we're going to be. The, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> God, dude, These I want logos and stuff aren't ready. Don't I want to know who we're going to be. Sure, if we have to be football Washington football team next year, cool. But at least <laughs> tell me what I get to look Not forward cool. to. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Kevin, after I heard that story today, do you know how how close I was to just say, you know what, this is supposed to, this is about to be a brand new football team. I can jump ship at any time. I'm trying to tell you, man. I can jump I'm ship trying at to tell any you. time. You have no if you're if you're if think about it, like I said about the Cowboys, are they your rival now? If it's not Cowboys, I know it's Cowboys and Indians, whether it's Washington or not. But that was pretty much that was what set up the rivalry. Now. The but, problem is, who, is I'm gonna, who am I going to pull for? Because if I go to the Bills, who I do really enjoy watching, I love watching Josh Allen, everybody's going to look at me and say, oh, you're just a bandwagon now. i got teams for you. First of all, the Browns. Uh, the, you don't remember that? you not hear the, I do the, have 18 a, team, I, the eight teams I just announced I do, Listen, I do have a Baker Mayfield jersey. <laughs> the, I know. So you've got a Baker jersey, you've got Johnny Mayfield. Not Mayfield. I went to high school with somebody named Johnny Mayfield, so I put Johnny Manziel <laughs> And Baker Mayfield together. I, I have Johnny, Johnny Manziel's Mayfield. shirt from college. The another team I was going to put on, I was going to mention Hunter would be a good team to switch to. If you're going to the AFC, I think have, that's what, how I would have to go. Haven't had success, but I don't know how you feel because they've played your Washington team in a Super Bowl, the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, but I don't like Tua. Okay, well, and, he might that? not be a quarterback next year. Well, he's a quarterback this coming weekend. <laughs> what if he goes? 0-5, whatever, 0-6. Oh, oh. Remember, 
folks, <clears throat> just last week we predicted that the the Dolphins could end up at some point in their season seven and five, mm-hmm. but we did that with Fitzpatrick at quarterback. Right, he was winning. He was three and three. Hunter, is he the only NFL quarterback, and he probably is in NFL history, who won back to back games by more than twenty four points and, and got benched? benched? Probably. That's a fun ESPN little stat for he you there. Back-to-back Tweet games it out. More than twenty four. Tweet it out. Well, now I'm sitting here wondering who I would pull for. If I if I jump ship because hey, Washington hey. is, I could just pull for Burrow and the hey. Bengals. Houston <sighs> franchise. There, there. I mean, a not brand a expansion team. expansion team that has no history, no nothing. Hey, you can still pull against the Cowboys if you want. <laughs> it's the AFC. You can say screw the Cowboys. That might set up as a good spot hey, for you. I, I love the Bengals helmets. I'd I be could, a Bengals fan if, if they hadn't made the Super Bowl, and that was one of my mark-offs. On, all right, this is what's took, so crazy. This is what's list. so crazy. I've got friends that can vouch for this, too. The reason why I said the Bengals. The year they drafted A.J. Green and Andy Dalton in the same year, I said in five years they'll make a Super Bowl. Well, in five They years, didn't do that. They, but in five years, they had five straight winning seasons. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was so – I thought they were going to get there, but they never did. Yeah, Andy Dalton had five straight <sighs> winning seasons. It's just tough for me because, literally, I have been just pulling for the this Washington team since I was little. Mm-hmm. Now, I did have a stint where I had Panthers jerseys. That's because my grandmother's a Panthers fan. And, of course, I saw when they made the first Super Bowl against the Patriots – and I saw when they made the second Super Bowl against the Broncos. Both of them ended up in the same way. They both lost. Yeah. But, so it's just one of those things where I don't, it's, I feel like all my buddies would just give me shit because they'd be like, oh, you can't just abandon your team. You can't just abandon your team. So, well, yeah. is this even a football team right now? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hunter, if, if, more, if men were more as loyal to Jesus <laughs> and, and their wives... As they were, as they are to their, to their football teams, like like you could really, like you can lose friends, yeah, over 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 cheating on your football team, mm-hmm. but you could cheat on your wife or girlfriend with that friend, and they they wouldn't bat an eye. I, now <laughs> you're right, you're right. I'm just saying society in general, folks. Society, don't, don't, not don't. us. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying this though. If I'm not mistaken. I think I heard my father say the other day he doesn't even want to root for Washington anymore. So. Me and my dad, who have been <laughs> lifelong Washington fans, we just might be done with this franchise. Maryland football team is their name. <laughs> Maryland football team. It's not. So so let's weed it out. Let's <laughs> me and you weed it out teams I can't root for. I can't root for the Steelers. That's a personal thing. Yeah, I can't yeah. root for the Steelers. I don't like Pittsburgh. <sighs> Seattle has won a Super Bowl within the last decade. So that would be, and they're and they're winners. They consistently win. That would be bandwagon. Tom said Zeke didn't hadn't, hadn't didn't fumble at Ohio State. Well, he wasn't playing <laughs> the many in it. He is in Jerry NFL. Jones wasn't there. True. Kansas City just won a Super Bowl last year. Can't do that. Out of your top four, the only one I could technically root for is the Titans. Jaguars. I do love Minshew, but I fear that they're really screwing him. But see. All right, so what, basically you got to figure out what your strategy is in picking a team. My, like, do I pick strategy, a loser? Right, my, that was my strategy. Right. My strategy was that I've been blowing smoke up my ass for 20 years from Jerry Jones. Well, if that's the case, I just stick with my loser but, franchise. But but your, but again, your franchise, your owner didn't come out and say, they don't come out and say we're going to win the Super Bowl every year. You're correct. That's Dallas, what I'm they, saying. They do in Dallas. Yeah. So you're, more, you're probably more open to other teams like, say, per se, the Vikings. Or uh, the, my the, best friend is a Vikings. Vikings fan. have lost four Super Bowls. Mm-hmm. Like so, basically, you got to decide: Do you want Super Bowl experience? So, Hunter, here's some teams without Super Bowl experience. I can't root for anybody else in the NFC East, though. So, Giants, okay. Eagles, and Cowboys are all cut off. If I could leave Washington, you could be a Detroit Lions fan, and I have nobody's going to say you're jumping on any bandwagon. No, <laughs> none, none, none. Uh, Houston Texans, right? Uh, I like Jacksonville as a, as a switching team team to switch to. Uh, don't you wouldn't switch to Atlanta unless you're just totally going in on Atlanta sports. Oof. You gonna be a Hawks fan too? No, Trey Young Trae will look Young. Good, good on you. I tell you what, the, the San Diego Chargers jerseys are always fantastic. So I you do can like those. the Chargers. You can rock that stuff. I like the Bengals. I liked them when they had Phillip Rivers. I hate everything about the Forty ers Brown gold. I color. couldn't do it because they're winning right they're now. NFC, NFC. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Dolphins, Vegas Raiders. That was the one I was looking. That was like, 
that one would be kind of fun. The Raiders. I like Derek Carr. I think he's highly underrated. Okay. They're starting to kind of win, but they've been losing for so long. So something, and I'm picking them up when they're actually in like a city. I think they're going to be in for more than just a year and a half. So something we, you know, we were talking the other day about. This is kind of one I want to get into. Yeah. Um. As we, get, well, I'm going to pull up our power, our power rankings and just do a minute, it, folks. Can, go ahead. Um. If uh, talking, talking a uh, uh, draft. Yes. Hunter, there are ten teams right now with one loss or less. Mm-hmm. After six weeks, we got ten suck jobs so bad. Ten, Hunter. That's a third of the league mm-hmm. only has one win or less. Now, some of oh, these. Oh, you said one win. You started with one loss. I was I, like, no. Oh. I was, I, if I said that, I'm, I'm totally. I'm, I'm sorry. I meant one. Ten with one win. One win. One, right. two, three, four. So the Cowboys at two and you four. You have none. <laughs> So the Cowboys and Patriots of two wins are actually picking in the teens right now. <laughs> they could get a decent player. <laughs> They're picking in the teens with two and four wins. So my point, oh, what I want to talk about this is, some of these teams aren't actually tanking for Trevor Lawrence. They just suck. Oh, I know. So let's go through some of them who just stink. Now, hold on. The one that just stinks, holy, the Jets. Right, that's, that's where, the where start. you start. But they're now, not tanking. They're just for him. bad, right? Yeah, they're just bad. The question is, if the Jets move off Sam Darnold and you're Trevor Lawrence, do you pull a Eli Manning and say, "There's no way I go to this damn dumpster fire so, in so, New York"? So Lawrence, New Jersey. So, I'm sorry. So that's uh, I'm going to go through these ten teams real quick, and we'll talk about which teams would want Lawrence. Mm-hmm. And with ten teams like that, Hunter, does he have? Does he not have more leverage? To say, I think he's got. I don't want to go there right now, or 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 or, or, you know, I don't want to play for you. So let's go through some of these teams. I'm going to ask you some questions. Just kind of let's be as quick as we can. The Vikings, yes, they they did not tank this year, no, but they've been bad. Bad. Would they move off of Cousins with the contract he's on? Yes. Okay. Atlanta Falcons. M V. P. Matty Ice. First overall take quarterback. They made a Super Bowl Is he like the reason three years that they've ago. they lost? No. No. But did they move off of Trevor Lawrence? Now, here's where teams like Minnesota and Atlanta, who have a quarterback, here's what Lawrence could do. Lawrence could say, I want to play for the Falcons. And then the Falcons say, well, whoever has the one pick, we'll trade you Matt here Ryan. Here comes Matt Ryan. Like so, the Falcons would have double that. They would have extra leverage that way. Yeah. The t- uh, so let's get the Jaguars. They would they're they're straight tanking and want Lawrence. So yeah. there's nothing there. There's nothing there. The Texans don't want Trevor Lawrence. They got Deshaun Watson, and they're one in five. So they would be in a trade scenario if mm. if they got him, and who would trade up to them? I think they they don't end up with a one pick. They've got to be too talented not to win and end up with the worst record in football. Ooh, Texans. Texans I yeah, I, they don't get the first pick. Right now, all signs point. The Jets might go winless. Right. Giants. Yeah, I mean, you're only two years invested into Daniel Jones. If he's not the guy compared to what Trevor Lawrence is, why would you not? What if I'd have told you three years ago why Eli's on the field and when they said, you know what, we're gonna this is what's going to happen <laughs> the next three years, Hunter. We're going to bench him for Geno Smith and end his consecutive start streak. Once Which Geno rude. Smith goes shit, just mm-hmm. horrible, be like, okay, that was stupid. Let's put Eli back in. And then we're going to draft his replacement the next year from Duke, a Duke quarterback. Right. And then after two years of realizing, hey, we probably shouldn't have drafted a Duke quarterback, we're going to draft another quarterback one overall. And so they've drafted basically two, think about it, two quarterbacks. In two different rounds, whoa, and two first whoa, round whoa, drafts. Whoa, wait a minute. I don't even think the Giants. I think the Giants win another game, so I don't think they'll even be in contention. <laughs> okay, I, but but I'm saying no. You're right. Are, are they would move on for Trevor Lawrence? Though. I think they would. I think they would. Um, is there a market for for the four Jones? Is the question. 
That's the same. It's the same problem that I said Cam Newton would run into. Look, all these teams basically have their quarterback situation filled, and if they don't, they just draft one. Right. So if you're a young guy, unless you show a lot of promise, like the only one out of the young quarterbacks, if they move off of him, he has an opportunity to get it. So go somewhere else is Sam Darnold. I think Sam Darnold is the only one. I think he is the only one. If the Jets get the first pick and say we're going to take Trevor Lawrence. But we have to move off Sam Darnold. I think he gets a shot some. But where, though, that's the right. question. I don't know. Okay, so Chargers won't be picking. Bengals won't be picking Lawrence. Um, Eagles. Hmm. hmm. They're not moving. They just Carson picked. Wentz leading the NFL. Is it too much? Do they, do they have too much money? In it? That's the question. Yes. I don't know the details of yes. his. His, his Kirk contract, Kirk is, contract. His contract is big, and it's new. Yeah, and then the Matt Ryan contract, I don't know much about that one either. And then the final team, Washington, of course, they would take Lawrence. Um, and, and with the number one pick. So teams are actually tanking for Lawrence that we believe. Jets, Jaguars, Redskins. And that's it. Who are these Redskins you speak of? Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, Washington football team. Maryland football team. Yeah, that old team of mine. So those are the only three teams I think are actively mm-hmm. trying to tank. The rest of them are awful. And see, here's the thing, too. When it comes down to they finally do, the season's over for college. We've got all the tape we want. There's going to be a big battle for Trevor Lawrence, of course, because he's going to be probably the one that a lot of people are saying he's NFL ready. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep on the other two that are coming out behind him. They might literally, if it lines up, let's just say the draft lineup goes this. Um, Jets, Jags, Washington at three. You could see three quarterbacks come off the board, bang, bang, bang. You could mm-hmm. see Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, and the kid from North Dakota State. Three in a row. You could. Would, so let's say the Falcons or Texans end up with the one pick, or even the Chargers. Someone that you don't think will, will mm-hmm. get rid of. What, that, that, what that do they ask Lawrence. for that, that first? Lawrence. Right. Exactly. What do they ask for it? So is Lawrence... If if a team with a quarterback gets the one pick, that one pick is now more valuable mm-hmm. because that means any team can trade for him if they want it. Right. If the Jets get the one pick or the Redskins get the one pick, it's not valuable. Like nobody wants. Nobody's it. gonna give. The only team that's gonna make a well, trade. Well, the Redskins for- aren't gonna give up, give that pick away for five, six, seven picks. Right. It, but but the Falcons may. Ah, uh, now they might. If Trevor Lawrence pulls the old Eli Manning, say, look, we can still draft him even though he said he don't want to play for us. Right. Technically, we can still just have his rights. Mm-hmm. So yeah. how bad do you want to come and get him? Because he's already said he doesn't want to play for us. Right. So if you want him, this is still the number one overall pick. Technically, we could just go in a different route and draft the other guy. But if you're afraid, say say it goes like that. Say we have, say Washington has the first pick, the Jets have the third pick, and Jacksonville has the second pick. Well, say Trevor Lawrence doesn't want to come to dysfunctional Washington, mm-hmm. but the Jets are like, whoa, shit, Jacksonville's going to draft him if Washington doesn't move off of one. So how much does New York give to go to one? Right. If one of the team to, to right. If a team isn't. Taking Lawrence gets the one pick. That's when it gets really Now, really I have heard a rumor. Well, not a rumor. It is just going around. All the analysts are talking about it. If the Jets secure the number one pick, does Lawrence just stay? Does he pull an Andrew <laughs> Luck and just stay another year? That'd be stupid. Not with today's money. I don't think so. I, we've seen... I'm not going to say it won't happen because we've seen some crazy ass shit this, obviously this year. Mm-hmm. But I, to, to me, Hunter, it's just too much money. It's New York. I know. That's that's not Detroit. That's not Jacksonville. I'd see more saying I'm not playing in Jacksonville than I would say New York. New York. Well, I, hope make, he, I hope he says he's not playing in Jacksonville. Give Garner his <laughs> give Garner his props. <laughs> he can make right? a shit ton of money in, in New York. Um you know, with with his style yeah, and hair, he, he, he Miami is the perfect spot for him. But they got Tua. But maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm not sold on it. I'm just I'm just not yet. Well he plays this weekend. Yeah. They benched old Fitz magic. So here is our 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kevin Hayes. This is mine, not our. No, power. I haven't even. I haven't even made my changes. These are our pow- my power rankings, and this is a this is this is not necessarily a power ranking as far as what teams I think are the best.